democracy is a process. It's a process. And although people may say that, look, it should happen overnight, 10 years, 15 years, can we quantify the time and space of when a full democracy comes into blossom? Yeah, but you take one step forward and, and then take one step. we take three or five steps backwards. And so the, and the thing about this is that our government is not a machine. It's made up of individuals, Correct. right? Individuals who all have different agendas. Individuals who all have a different vision of where they want to take their country. And unfortunately, in times in history, we get those individuals who their vision encompasses the nation as a whole. Their vision is not self-righteous, doesn't fill with ego, but it's about the betterment of the people. And at times you get leaders who may be opposite from that. Right. So we have a pendulum swing that happens in politics and in democracy. And unfortunately, because the government is not made of machines, but it's made up of individuals who has particular visions for a country that can either take the country forward or can take the country backward, which is why many of these new democracies find themselves in that pendulum swing of sometimes we are one step forward and then automatically a new leader comes in or one of his part of the political elite still holds on to that power and we're stuck in a pace you know place in time and for many of them they have been stuck in a place in time Equatorial Guinea stuck in a place in time Uganda mean, maybe uh, you stuck mean, in a place in time Guinea, you're talking about uh, the land of uh, Theodore Yes. Because when you are unable to unleash power, you keep a country, unfortunately, hostage.